Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Cody Townsend, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about your prepping for a day of backcountry skiing. So not necessarily talking about prepping your gear or what gear you choose, we have other videos about that, but kind of the research that goes into preparing for your day of backcountry skiing. So before you ever begin to plan your day of backcountry skiing, the first thing you wanna do is actually get avalanche educated. So what does that mean? That means going to school taking classes, whether it's a one day, a three day, a 10 day, doing some sort of avalanche education is absolutely essential to winter backcountry travel. Look up a local resource, find a class, sign up, and now we can go into how to plan your day. So your day of backcountry skiing is actually gonna start the day before you plan to go out. And there's a number of research tools we're gonna to go through today that all can be found on your computer or on your phone to kind of prepare you best. If you're brand new to backcountry skiing, I suggest you check out this website, Know Before You Go. It's actually kbyg.org. They have a bulk of resources to help plan for your day and understand uh, backcountry skiing. So the first thing I always do is check the weather, of course. And you're gonna to wanna to look at very specific mountain forecasts. There's a number of good apps and tools out there. Um, my favorite is the guys at Open Snow. Uh, they do an amazing job of forecasting specifically for mountainous regions. If you're in Europe, a resource like Snow Forecast really works. Don't look at necessarily just your iPhone weather. You wanna understand the winds, the temperatures at elevation, all those little details that can be the difference between a good day and a bad day of backcountry skiing. The next thing, and possibly the most important thing, is checking your avalanche forecast. And you wanna check it the day before because you wanna see kind of what the history has been of the avalanche conditions out in your area you plan to go backcountry skiing in. You're not gonna be able to get the next day's forecast uh, by looking at it through the day before, but you're gonna, gonna start to understand what is going on in the snowpack. So if you are in America, avalanche.org will zoom you into your local area, or if you're in Canada, avalanche.ca, and if you're in Europe, there's plenty of resources as well. Um, but from there, you will really wanna start to understand and get a feel for what the snowpack is doing to make your decisions for the day. And the third thing I like to do the day before is research my route virtually. I wanna know how long I plan to be out there for, how many vertical feet I'm gonna cover, and what my intended route is going to be. So I use tools like Google Earth, or even go look at blogs and trip reports from that zone to kind of learn the nuances of that zone before I even step foot out there. And the day before, I really wanna come up with a plan A, a plan B, and a plan C. Having those plans is really critical to having a safe day. So now the day has arrived. You wake up and you're going backcountry skiing because everything checks out from your research the day before. First thing I like to do is check that avalanche forecast. Usually a forecast comes out six, seven in the morning, depending on your local forecasting center, but make sure that it's panning out to as you intended and that it's safe for the terrain that you're going to be going into that day. Again, I like to look at more than just the avalanche rows, the colors. I like to try and look in depth at what's going on so I can understand the snow conditions I'm gonna be encountering while out in the backcountry. The second thing you do is take a peek out the window. Essentially confirm the weather forecast was correct the day before and make sure that your day is looking good to continue out into the backcountry. And before I leave the house, the third thing I do is check my gear. Make sure that I have a checklist, make sure that I, uh, everything is in my bag, all the critical gear I have is with me so that I don't drive to the trailhead and forget something and have to drive home. It's always a bummer. The last thing you wanna do before you leave the house is leave a plan. Whether that's leaving a note, texting a friend, or calling a loved one, telling someone outside of your group where you're gonna be and how long you plan to be out there is really helpful in case something goes wrong out in the backcountry and you're not able to reach outside help, that person can help initiate a rescue. So that's all the stuff I do to prepare for a day of backcountry skiing. If you wanna learn more information about backcountry skiing, take a look at the rest of this channel. There's a lot of great information. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting that little red button below. And otherwise, hope to see you in the mountains this winter. 